So RGT85, who I've mentioned in the past, posted a video today called why you should buy a Nintendo Switch this holiday. And in that video, he made quite a few points on why people who don't own a Switch should own one. And my feelings on the video personally at least were positive in some areas and negative in others. And since I haven't made a video in like 3 days now, I thought, hey, why not make a response to his video? If you want to check out the original video this is from, I'll have a link to the RGT85 video I'm responding to, and his YouTube channel. That's all gonna be in the description. But before I actually start my response, I have to make something clear. I do not hate RGT85. I like his content, I'm subscribed to him on multiple accounts just to give him extra support, and I think a lot of his videos are awesome, and I even think that this video he made is still pretty good. There's just times in this video where I feel like I need to share what I think of his points. Alright, so let's just get right into my response now that that's over with. So the first point RGT85 made is how much retro games and retro game franchises are on the Nintendo Switch. And obviously since he is a retro review channel, this point is probably going to be exclusive to him and his fanbase, but... Even so, I do think that this point is not bad. Now, the games he mentioned, such as Bomberman, just to name one off of the top of my head, I'm not really into, but still, I think that this point could sell a lot of people on this. Here's my problem with the point. I know that quite a lot amount of people aren't interested in retro games, so for them, this won't really stick out. And I think he should have elaborated on that a bit more. Anyway, moving on to his next point. So, RGT85 goes on to make the point that Nintendo exclusives are also a huge reason to get a Switch, and yes, this is 100% valid. I'm very confident that there's a lot of people out there who would fork over hundreds of dollars for a game console just to play Nintendo games. For some people, that might not be enough to buy a whole video game console, but still, it should be enough to get their attention if it's the least it can do. Now, some of the games he mentioned were Super Mario Odyssey, which I made a video on claiming that it's the best game in the Switch library as of then, which I might actually make a second part to, and other games such as Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, which is a great game, and ARMS, which I personally didn't really like. But even so, this is a very valid point from RGT85, good job here. Next, we have something that I wouldn't think of right away, which is the future of the Nintendo Switch. And this point is pretty accurate. A lot of third parties are now considering moving their games over to the console because of how well games are selling on it, and plus how well the console itself is selling. Now some of the possibilities he mentioned might be a bit far-fetched for 2018 at least in my opinion, such as GTA 5, which I am now starting to doubt will come in 2018, but who knows? Only Rockstar knows, and n neither me or RGT85 works at Rockstar, so... Still, I hope GTA 5 comes to the Switch, because I know that it's gonna be a system seller to some people, and I know it's gonna do really well on the console, but... I think 2018 is a bit far-fetched. That's all I really have to say about that point. It's still valid, but in my opinion, it's a little bit stretched out at times. And RGT85's final point, which I totally agree with, is simply the portability the system has. And yeah, the portability the Switch offers is going to be the biggest selling point it has. Now, without going into complete gushing mode, I do have to mention that there are some aspects that can be quite annoying when it comes to the Switch's portability, such as battery life, which isn't bad, but it could for sure be better. But the portability it has really shines to me and a lot of other people. And of course, like RGT mentioned, you can also just slide the console into the dock almost seamlessly, which I think we all know about the infamous issues the dock has, but even with that, you can just plop it into the Switch's docking station and play games like it's a traditional game console. And that's probably, like RGT85 said, probably the biggest selling point the Nintendo Switch has to offer. Alright, well, I'm finished with my response. So overall, this video he made was pretty good. A lot of the points brought up are valid, and while I do wish at times that RGT85 talked more about common reasons why people wouldn't like the point he's talking about, I still think that people are going to find this video helpful when deciding if they should buy a Nintendo Switch. And I also think that this video still holds up pretty well. 
So before I end this video, I'm going to answer the question in the title. Should you buy a Nintendo Switch this holiday season? Well, it really just depends on what type of gamer you are, what games you'll play, and if you even want to put the time into trying and find it, because stock issues still might be an issue, even though Nintendo did promise more stock for the holiday season. They've said that a thousand times before, so I don't know. So I hope you did enjoy this video. It would be appreciated if you share this video, but it's always up to you. I'll link my other social medias in the description, and see you.